Hey guys, welcome back and uh, thanks for checking in on our updates with the uh, different types of uh, fertilizers. And uh, I just wanted to give you a little um, breakdown of uh, what I like to do with uh, a foliar spray. Um, basically using one of these, uh, you know, handheld uh, pump sprayer. That holds about two gallons. Uh, every two weeks, every three weeks, depending on how much time I have. In the morning, 6.30, 7, 8 in the morning, before the sun comes out really nice and strong, I like to mix in a good gallon, two gallons of um, fertilizers. Um, and what I like to do is liquid kelp. Liquid kelp is a great product. It's uh, organic. Um, all you gotta do is shake it up nice and well. Um, mix uh, one ounce per gallon. You could even go up to two ounces per gallon. Put it in your uh, sprayer. I like to use filtered water, not just regular tap water, but it's filtered water to eliminate uh, that harsh water uh, and the water spots on the leaves. Um, I, for, I, I spray everything from my citrus trees to the avocado to the peaches, the plums, the pluots, uh, even my blueberries, everything. Um, so when I do the spraying, I always like to spray it with uh, the kelp, uh, depending on what you need to do. Sometimes I also throw in like iron on my blueberries, um, other fertilizers, um, Super Thrive. That's another one that I like to use. Um, again, I'm not a uh, associated with any of these brands. These are just brands that I personally like to use and that I've had great success, success with. Um, Nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy, pretty easy. Shake it up, add the water, put in the sprayer, go around, go to town, spray it. I spray everything. The stems, the leaves, flowers, top and bottom of the leaf, everything. Let it drip off like crazy. Uh, usually two gallons gets me about, uh, um, you know, about uh, 10 trees drenched, drenched, fine mist. You don't want to just wet it and have it all run off. You want it to actually stay and stick to the, the leaves itself, um, the branches, everything. It's fun. Watch out if there's wind and it goes on you, this stuff kind of smells. My kids always say, oh my God, you smell like fish. What do you want to do? First of all, I love fishing, <laughs> but it's good for the trees. It's good for the plants, whatever. It's no big deal. Um, when I garden, when I water the soil, with my fertilizers, I think I've showed you um, the fertilizer that I like to use in another video. Besides the fertilizers the, that I dissolve in water, I also like to add liquid fish. This liquid fish is uh, super stinky, but actually works uh, great on, on everything. The vegetables, uh, herbs, avocados, oranges, lemons, peaches, you name everything. I have no problem with this at all. Very easy, it dissolves uh, very fast in the water. Um, I don't know what I use here, but I basically, yeah, about four tablespoons per gallon, um, which is about uh, two ounces per, two fluid ounces per gallon. Mix it all up, of course, shake it, shake it well before you use it, and uh, you'll see that your trees are really gonna love it. Don't forget, your trees are just like us. We get hungry, right? So we have to, feed ourselves nutrients nutrition um, we get hungry and we go and eat our trees don't tell us anything but you think they don't tell us anything but they do when you see your leaves are wilting are not happy are turning yellow are turning curly um, there's so many different stress factors with the trees every single tree some trees will just drop all their leaves um, some will fall down, some will perk up, some will twist, some turn yellow, some turn brown. Those are all the stress signs. Uh, too much water, not enough water, not enough uh, nutrients. Uh, depending on what type of deficiencies you have in the soil, your tree is going to let you know that. So you have to do some research on each particular tree that you have and, um, and figure out what the corrective action is for your tree. Anyways, uh, again, Clemente here. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed this uh, quick video on fish, liquid fish fertilizer and liquid organic kelp. I believe this one's also organic. Um, yep, organic. It's got the 
O-M-R-I brand on it. Um, happy gardening. Don't forget to get your kids involved. Your kids, get them off the computers, get them off the iPads, send them outside in the, in the yard. Have them spray. You know, we always tell our kids, oh, don't water, don't spray the leaves. Yeah, because they do it at 12 o'clock when the sun is roasting and it's going to kill the tree and your plants. But get them out there early in the morning, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, before the sun is really harsh. 6 o'clock at night, 7 o'clock. Get this mixed up for them. Have them mix it up. Show them, explain to them what's going on. Pump it up for them and have them spray the tree. They have a good time spraying it. It's no big deal if they overspray. It's all good for the trees. The kids love it. Get to spend some time with your kids and uh, they'll get to enjoy and appreciate gardening as much as we do. So enjoy the rest of the day. Happy gardening and uh, feel free to send me any messages. I'll try my best to uh, answer them with any questions you guys have. Don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button and the little bell for my next uh, updates on different trees. If you want to hear or learn about something else that, I, that I'm doing in my uh, backyard garden um, here in Southern California, send me a message and I'll, uh, I'll hook you guys up. You guys have a good day.